Yo, what is up guys? Kill Luke for the win back with another Clash of Clans video today. To start off for today, we have some level 13 collectors inbound. Yes, indeed, we're going to get these sexy collectors started up. And that I actually really enjoy them. Uh, only, you know, a decent size buff. You know, anyone could have guessed. Plus 500, uh, plus 50,000 in the actual... Uh, in the storage process of them, they can hold 50,000 more. I think they can hold 200,000 now instead of 150,000. And they collect 3,500 an hour instead of uh, instead of just 3,000. So if you do the math when you add all of them together, it's a pretty decent buff. But overall, it's not a very, uh, very big buff. And considering that Town Hall 8s get them, I think that Town Hall 10s still need a new collector. Maybe level 14 collectors should get like 4,000. And then I think that uh, level 15 collectors should get, or, or is it level 13 collectors, should get 5,000. I think that they should receive a huge buff then. I think that, uh, you know, especially with farming been really hit or miss lately, I think they should get a pretty good buff. But now that I mention it, farming has been pretty sexy lately. Uh, I don't know. I think it's balanced out a bit after the Christmas update. So finally, I'm starting to get some pretty good raids again, as you'll start to notice on my channel. I'll be uploading more and more and more as I get these awesome raids. So on this raid, uh, as you can see, a Tunnel 10, Super Duper Rush, only level 4, only level 4 Wizard Towers. And he has Infernos, but they're dead. So that's pretty nice for me. Definitely a major plus for me. So as you can see here, it doesn't even look like I'm going to be able to 3-star this guy's base. I'm not even sure if I make my way all the way around or not. I was just going for the loot. So as long as I get all of the collectors, I should be good to go. And it doesn't really matter if I 3-star this guy or not. So real quick, before I talk too much about this video, I want to give a shout out to my previous video. I posted a pretty sick DNA bomb on Advanced Warfare, and I want you guys to support that and leave a comment on there what you want to see in Advanced Warfare. If you do want to see Advanced Warfare at all, if you don't want to see it, you don't have to click on it, that's fine. But if you do enjoy Advanced Warfare, please go click on that video because it, it's not doing so well. And I want to continue to post Advanced Warfare, at least here and then, at least you know once or twice a week, I would like to. Uh, especially once I get my Elgato in, my Elgato HD60, I want to do more Advanced Warfare videos. I was thinking about doing a sniper gameplay where I just go for any sort of gameplay sniping, whether it be like 50 kills, whether it be a DNA bomb. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I just want to go for a sniper gameplay. So let me know what sniper you'd like me to use the Morse or what not. I don't know what the other one is called, to be honest. But anyways, on that raid, we're going to get over 600k, so pretty awesome. On this one, there's 600k before the bonus, so I was super stoked when I found this. Instantly, I was like, yes, I'm raiding this guy. This is going to happen. And as you can see, I still have the level 6 Giants. I'm just waiting to start the level 7 Giants. Of course, like an idiot, I started level 3 Lava Hounds, I think it was, right before the Giants came out. I wasn't expecting the update to come out that soon. So I should have waited because I lost a ton of Elixir in the meantime. And I'm probably going to start farming with Hog Riders again. So just let me know if you want to see some Hog Riders. Uh, yeah, Hog Rider Hype. Hashtag Hog Rider Hype. Let's tweet that. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so... On this raid, as you can tell, this guy had a pretty decent base for a tunnel 10. Still pretty rushed, nonetheless. But he did have level 6 and level 7 wizard towers. And he did have level 7 Tesla. So it was a pretty strong base. Uh, obviously, he was pretty inactive, though. So we didn't really have to worry about his, um, his Inferno Towers, other than the fact that they have hordes of health. Hordes and hordes of health. So leave a comment. I'm interested to know, have you got your Christmas tree yet? And what are your thoughts on the Christmas tree? They said it was going to be spawning presents, I know, uh, but it really is not spawning any presents. It only spawns one presence, maybe two, maybe three. Supposedly, it's supposed to come up with like three by the end of this uh, cold Christmas theme thing. But I think that's kind of ridiculous. That's not really going to do anything in our favor. Uh, what is it? I think it's like 5,000 or 25,000 elixir. Uh, per present, which really doesn't help out at all. <laughs> so it's kind of ridiculous that they did that. Honestly, in my opinion, the little trap that spawned the uh, presents was 10 times better, just astronomically better. Uh, so just leave a comment what you think is better, the new Christmas tree or the trap. I think that they should have brought the trap back and brought the Christmas tree back as well. I think that would have been way sicker. Uh, but that's just my opinion. That's just my two cents. You can take it how you want to, take it or leave it. Anyways, as you can tell, we're getting close to three-starring this guy's base. Surprisingly, uh, there's really nothing left but a couple of Teslas to worry about. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to three-star this guy's base, but apparently I am. So right there, 
uh, what is it? He has a builder's head in the corner, and that should be good to go ahead and three-star him. So, Odin. Odin, Odin, Odin. You got three-starred. For over 3,000 Dark Elixir, uh, 700k in loot, 600k before the bonus. Pretty sick raid, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. As you can see, we're racking up some gold here. And on this raid, I really just went for this guy just because uh, there wasn't much loot, and he wasn't... He was in Crystal 1 League, and I just really wanted to farm some Dark Elixir, so I wanted to show you guys that I actually am farming a ton of Dark Elixir. I'm going for stronger heroes. There's really nothing else for me to farm Dark Elixir with. I have, uh, once these Lava Hounds get done, I'll have 100% maxed out Dark Elixir troops, and nearly maxed out troops in general. I'll only have to get the Giants done after that, and then I'll have maxed out troops. I can go ahead and go back to Spells. And yeah, just work on my heroes with my Dark Elixir that I get. So as you notice, this guy did have some Clan Castle troops, and they really got in the way on this raid. That kind of sucked, but we took them out fairly quickly, and now we're making our way towards the center of this guy's base. I've already used four of my spells, uh, so that just goes to show how much that those uh, Clan Castle troops really did get in the way on this raid. So now we're making our way through the center, going absolutely ham, doing some destruction, and the rage spell is doing work. As you can tell, I'm going to go ahead and use my Barbarian's ability. Let me know if you like the green bar of health where it flashes when they get to low health. I really enjoy that. I think it's a really good idea. And I think that it, you know, maybe even refreshes things just a little bit. Nothing too fancy, but I think it's really dope. I think it's a good idea. And I really do enjoy that aspect of the game now with the new heroes. Uh, life, span, lights saber thing no i'm just kidding uh so anyways as you can see we're finishing up wrapping up on three starting this guy's base nothing too special like i said before uh just leave a comment what do you want to see on my channel uh do you want to see more advanced warfare gameplays do you want to see some boom beach do you want to see some uh what's that game called pirate pirate uh, i i really can't think of the name but once my elgato comes in i will be recording some of that whatever it's called the pirate game and i think i'll really enjoy it i think i don't know i think it's kind of fun but for me, the problem with those games is that you don't get as many builders and it's harder to get builders. Like in Boom Beach, you only get one builder and I don't want to sit around waiting. I don't hop on that game too much. I only have it on my iPad, so uh, it's a little bit weird. But right here, as you can tell, I did get my second Christmas tree. So that's pretty dope. And I don't know, we're having some technical difficulties. Sony Vegas is not refreshing the screen here. That's weird. But... I am going to level up a couple more collectors, and I did get my second Christmas tree, so I'm going to be sure to actually hang on to that Christmas tree, because the last one, or the, the present that it spawns, because the last one, like I said before, I accidentally clicked on one of the presents and got it, but it's not a big deal, because, I don't know, it's just one present, I mean, they should definitely give us more like 10 presents, they should just let them spawn like crazy, in my opinion, that'd be a lot more interesting. Uh, but I'm not complaining. The one present is pretty nice to have. And I think that the present looks pretty cool. Leave a comment. What do you think is better? This year's uh, Christmas tree or last year's Christmas tree or the original Christmas tree? In my opinion, I, it's pretty close in between this year's Christmas tree and last year's. If I were to have to pick one, I'd probably pick last year's Christmas tree as the best Christmas tree in all three years of Clash of Clans lifespan. Uh, that's just my favorite one. So yeah, like I said, leave a comment on that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Um, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Like I say, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to go ahead and use my code on Cash for Apps. Uh, my code, let me see, my code is on my screen here somewhere. My code is 3B7212. So I'd really appreciate it if you did use my code for Cash for Apps. I'll leave a link to that, and I'll leave it down in the description. Anyways, have a wonderful day, and Clash on Bros. Kill Luke. For the win, signing out. Peace.